everyone! Welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how to get this really easy, simple look, like an everyday makeup look, please keep watching. Enjoy! Um, since this look is super easy, you can do your face first. Like, usually I do my eyes, but we're gonna drop it right into face. I'll be teaching you how to turn this into a mold, too. We're gonna go ahead and use my other primer. This is the Benefit Professional. <music> foundation this is the maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation and 128 warm nude did this look on new year's day i took my husband out for dinner and i actually had like no time to do my makeup like i had like 10 minutes like i was like bam bam done like i did my I finished my eyebrows in the car and put on my lip in the car like right literally right before we were like walking to the door like i was putting on lipstick I actually loved, 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 loved how it came out and I just felt so pretty and it was so effortless, like it was like the easiest thing ever, you know? So I'm like, you know what? I am going to do this for y'all. Okay, so that's like one layer. Okay, I'm trying to see if that's like... One more. One more layer. <laughs> One more I use it on. And I usually like put a really like a lot on here. Like usually there's like the whole bottle. <laughs> but then I don't use it on. It's a waste of makeup. So I'm trying to be better about that, y'all. I'm trying to be better about that. Maybelline Fit Me in Light. I love this concealer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it, swipe it, whatever you want it. <laughs> Yeah, a little bit here. Real Technique sponge. I used the like body of it. I guess you could say the body of the blender, and just blend it all in. Okay, now you see my eyelids. They're like, well. We're just gonna conceal it. I'm gonna say the translucent setting powder. I turn it over and like give it a few like shakes and taps. And then, okay, now I'm gonna take one side and dip it into the powder and put it on. And then I'm gonna take, once I do that, I'm saying, telling you it because I might forget to tell you before. So I'm um, doing that and then I'm gonna take the opposite side where I didn't dip it into the powder. What is going on right here? Like I'm so glad I looked up like, why didn't you tell me? I'm going to take the opposite side that doesn't have the powder and blend my lid out and then use the opposite the side that has the powder, powder. Got it? Got it? Let's do it. I'm blending this side out. Keep your eye open. Dip. And pat. Um, then you should have no creases. I go back in with more to bake. Powder right over. For this, you don't need a lot. Like, you don't need that much. This keeps your concealer in place and doesn't make you so creasy. So, like, right away, like, as soon as you open your eye, you're not creasy mess. Now, we have a lot of powder still left over. This is the stuff that I would take my foundation powder, that's my skin color, and put it everywhere. But I don't know where it is. Go ahead and use translucent powder to set my face. A wet and wild, but I don't even know what brush it is, it's a wet and wild brush. <laughs> Into the cap, like so. And go like this, everywhere. So I finished powdering my face. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. Real Techniques contour brush and my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and Bronzer. So we're just putting color to our face, y'all. That's it. I pull back my hair, but you know what? For the sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. I feel like that's not enough. Like, I don't know. I, I look at myself and I'm like, 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and apply some blush. Do not know the names. The names are not on the back of them. They're from Ofra. This is the Window Palette Blush Six Colors. I'm using these three, and I'm using the Sephora Number Forty Five Multitasking Complexion Brush. So I like to put it here. You know, apples over tea. This is your little cheek, and I like to blend it back a little bit. I'm going to take my Real Techniques. It's a fan brush. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Face Palette Collaboration. Yay! It's lit. Bridge my nose. I don't really like to highlight my uh, tip of my nose. I'm more a bridge. Like, yes, girl, get that bridge. Mm, 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 mm. Slay that bridge. Yes, yes. And I like to put some on my cupids bow. Um, I think I just left my lids bare when I did this, but I'm just gonna take this um, Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place, Juvia's Place brush and the butter bronzer and just like get a little bit on there. Go right here and just put a little bit of color. That's it. You don't have to do this step. This is totally optional. I mean, anything that I do is optional. You don't have to do any of this, you know? But if you're trying to do this and you're like, oh, really? No, that's easy. That's basic. I can do this every day. You know, this is what this video is for. Another Juvia's Place brush. It's a flat brush. And the same <laughs> champagne pop highlight. And just go right on your brow bone. He gets brow bone. He's my pinky. I'm going to do the same champagne pop color right up in here. So, clean pinky. Champagne pop. Inner corner. I kind of go like a little bit like here and a little bit on the bottom. So it's like not just like a dot of highlight. Lash time. I'm going to be using the. 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 The Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I'm also trying to be really careful about getting it on my lid. But if it does happen, that's okay. It happens to me too. Just wait till it dries and then take like a little brush or a Q-tip and lightly just flick it away. It'll literally come off like that. This is a Julep High Impact Mascara. And the julep, and then this is the just a tart. So I just put it in my water line, just this color, and we're done with the eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bunch my lips. I'm gonna go ahead and wear the same lip color that I wore that day. It was the NYX um, lingerie and the color push up. Okay, so we're actually one more thing. I told you I was going to show you how to turn your little huh, situation into a beauty mark, mole, whatever you want to call it. This is the Grande Dors liner. I'm sure I'm butchering that from Lancome. This one, the pretty one. Literally just take it. I like to pick the biggest one. I know I have like a, a few situations going on here. But I'm going to do this one right here. Same sponge that you were using before this side where you were using your foundation and I just go right over it and then powder goes to the powder side and just kind of pat over it so it actually looks like yours yeah you got yourself a mom and that's the completed look thumbs up subscribe comment down below See you in my next video. Bye! I could just do like a video where I'm just like... And then not say anything and it'll be like five minutes. What do you think? Nah. Hey. Hey. Super simple. Super easy. I mean, that's just me. Personal preference. If that's you, girl, do you? Do you, boo? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm.